What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Whoa! This is a video I did not want to do because I did not want to give the publicity to this little guy. Okay, I did not want to promote his channel, but I'm going to implore you not to subscribe. Um, I'm going to implore you not to even listen to this guy. I listen to the video now because Mike Rasheed told me he did a video on this vegan gains guy. And I've had for the past two weeks, the video has 55,000 views, 800 something dislikes and only a thousand likes. So obviously, thank you so much. If you want to go and dislike that bitch, go ahead. He still gets paid for it, but I'm sure he needs the money. Um, here's the deal. Mike Rashid, I'm going to link Mike Rashid's channel down below. Mike Rashid is one of my best friends, if not my best friend, alongside Sean Torbani and Doug Miller within the industry. Um, just a great guy. And Mike was actually taken aback by the comments. This guy's the worst of the supplement industry, Dana Lynn Bailey. I haven't watched these. I watched mine just five minutes ago while making some epic sludge, you know, because guess what? I, I sell supplements, right, Mr. Epic Games? I mean, because me having a job... That's a bad thing. Now, I listen to Mike's video. Mike sent it to me. When Mike texts me something to watch, I watch it. And then I'm like, he really says some mean things about Dana Lynn Bailey being on steroids, about this, about that. And then I look down his list of videos, the Hodge twins, the worst of the industry, this, the worst of the industry. He's What he's doing is he's baiting people to watch his videos to try and get a following. And I sincerely do not think it's to promote his lifestyle of being a vegan. I personally, you could look, Google Mark Lobliner Pescatarian. While I was not a vegan, I was a pescatarian for multiple years, for one, a year and a half, almost multiple years. Okay, a year and a half, I was a pescatarian. I still own pescatarianism.com. I haven't done anything with it. I like the lifestyle. I like it. And you, I, like, I like the benefits. Um, I'm going to just quash something in his video. He said that I admitted that supplements cause cancer. Um, and he used my children in the video to bash me for that. Fuck you, Mr. Vegan Games. Um, have some tact. You know, be respectful. Um, do not bring my children into it and use them as a defamatory means. I am a man. You are not. So I can understand why you do that. This is not man to man. You're a child. Okay? Let's just be real. I, I would show more respect, but you have not respected me, my friends, the twins, Dana. You have not respected any of the people whom I respect and whom I'm friends with. So for that, fuck you. Uh, Mike was very tactful. Mike was very respectful. He said, I'm not going to get into this. It's We're not animals. We're humans. We contain it. I'm not going to go hit the guy. As much as I want to just knock him out, I'm not going to knock him out because he only weighs, what, a buck 20? Oh, yeah, but my weight's all from steroids, right? I, I get it. I get what the fucking comments are going to say. Where I'm really upset is, is, one, he's wrong. There's a lot of data coming out of the university. I believe it's Central Florida um, where they're showing tremendous progress using branched amino acids alongside ketogenic diets, which are a lot of meat and lower carbs, which do control insulin. And while whey protein is insulinogenic, like branched amino acid, it provides a transient, not a biphasic, an acute increase in your insulin, insulin spike, as opposed to biphasic as carbohydrate do. Also, I usually recommend drinking my whey protein unless of that post-workout state. Even then, I like drinking it with other mac macronutrients like fats and carbs, which completely alters digestive rate. Now, while if you wake up in the morning in a fasted state and you drink whey, it will prov provide an insulogenic response. It will not be biphasic. It will be much different than eating sugar-laden carbs. So before you pretend to know it all, actually know what you're talking about, Mr. Vegan. Next, I'd like to address that little piece of shit, Durian Ryder. You brought my wife into it in your video. I didn't watch it. I've been reported by many people because I have better things to do than to watch a man who eats 30 phallic bananas a day talking about riding his bike and how, you know what, you talk about steroid use having small balls. Your balls quit working long time ago from riding your bike. Read the data on that, bitch. All right, here's the deal. I applaud Mike Rashid for holding it in. And I admit he did it because that's why he had his child in front of him. You notice Mike's with his son. If I had my daughter here, I wouldn't be able to curse and get angry. But unfortunately, my daughter's upstairs outside playing, being healthy with her friends. It's summer break. I don't have a kid to control my emotions and my realism of this issue. The issue is I have no time for you, Mr. Vegan Gaines and Mr. Durian Ryder. Durian, you're an idiot. Um, you've always been an idiot and you're an irrelevant nobody. 
Vegan gains, you're going to come and go. You're a fad. You provide no substance. You're promoting a vegan lifestyle. But you're doing it via hatred and just, just nasty just nasty shit. That's not how you grow a base. Take it from me. Okay. I'd say judging by my tax returns, and I'm just playing. I, I, judging by what I do and where I speak and, and my career, where it's at, I've been at least marginally successful in life. Okay. And I didn't do that by bringing others down. I did it by being positive and helping people. And while I don't think, I think you're using this vegan thing, this whole vegan, vegan, I can't pronounce it, this whole vegan thing as a way to be able to put others down and act superior. I think it's your only way to differentiate and say, I'm better than you because I don't eat animals. I'm better than you for this. You're evil for this. You're evil for that. Vegans, while it might be right, it might be wrong. I'm not going to judge, and I am not the expert on animal cruelty. I will say that I try to, you know, eat as humane as possible, if that makes sense, with cage-free and all that. At the end of the day, I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegetarian. And I don't hate you for being a vegan or a vegetarian. I don't like the mass slaughtering of animals. I don't. But we have a lot of people to feed, and that's what we do. I mean, it's, it's humans eat meat. Whether we're supposed to or not, the fact of the matter is, if you're living in this world, people around you are going to eat something that comes from an animal, and you have to deal with it that your view isn't the only one. Take religion. Jews don't believe in Jesus. Christians do. If you're Christian and you're next to a Jew who doesn't believe in Jesus, you just can't go around talking shit about them because they don't believe in Jesus, all right? You have different viewpoints and respect that. And you piece of shit. Putting down Dana Lynn Bailey, putting down a female like that, again, show some respect, man. The Hodge twins, what have they ever done to you? They're funny, they provide content, and you know what? I know that they help people. They help people for free reach their goals, okay? Yeah, they get paid doing YouTube, but no one's paying them to watch their videos. I own the channel. The channel is called The Tiger Fitness. If you go to tigerfitness.com, we sell supplements. You put videos of me promoting use of a fat loss stack. That is pills. Okay, I get it. The rest of it, epic gains. And it's, it's, it's brown rice, protein, and veggies. You should like it. There's, there's veggies in there, right? Um, the next is, um, is my way. It's pretty innocuous, man. It's not a big deal. I'm not, I'm not selling, you know, get mad at beef protein. That's really getting to the cow, right? At least we're just milking the cow, right? I mean, they're actually killing cows and shit. <laughs> Here's the deal. When I played high school football, I had a coach called Coach Carroll. And those of you who went to high school with me, I know some of you watched this video. You remember Coach Carroll. Coach Carroll one time looked at us. We thought we were the shit. We were winning. Son, you ain't pissed a drop on my field. Coach Carroll was in his late 30s, early 40s. Coach Carroll pissed a lot of drops. Coached a lot of teams and played football at a higher level than we did. Vegan Gaines, Durian Ryder, you ain't pissed a drop on my field, on Dana, Miss Olympia's field, on Mike Rashid's field, on the Hodge Twins field. Pay your fucking dues before putting others down. Am I being elitist because I am older and more experienced than you? Absolutely. fucking lutely Show some respect. Respect women and respect people who are more accomplished than you and respect your fellow human. You respect animals? Like Mike said, you, you say you respect animals. Why aren't you respecting fellow human beings? I watched one video of yours. The only video I saw was the first five minutes when Durian Ryder called me out with the twins for using steroids. Don't know how the fuck that happened. Uh, <laughs> the twins, I've known them for years, man. If they're, they're not that big. Okay? Me? Okay, I get it. I'm not denying. I'm not saying fucking shit about it, man. You know, just fucking leave us alone. You're just trying to get views and you're going to, you've done a good job because Mike and I both responded to you mainly because our friends and our supporters want us to know that you're a douchebag and the confirmation is there. You're a douchebag. You show respect to me. I'll return the favor and show respect to you. If we ever meet in public, I'm not going to punch you, Mr. Gaines. I'm not going to punch Durian Ryder. One, because I think your bones, bones would just break on impact. Two, because you'll sue me. And frankly, that disclaimer you have at the beginning of your video, just a little insight, you don't know law. 
Doesn't matter if you have a disclaimer, freedom of speech, if that speech is found to try and defame me in any way to hurt my business in any way, and you are making money via YouTube by being monetized, that's unfair competitive practice, I can still sue your ass, Mr. Gaines. If you wanna go to court against me, if you wanna put your bank account against mine, let's go, but I ain't gonna sue you, bro, not yet. But you better know the law before you start quoting some fucking bullshit. Cause remember, the law is the law, and you don't know it. You think you know it all at this age, man. Durian, you're old. You're just stupid. Vegan Gains, you think you know it all. You don't. I don't know it all. I don't. I learn something new every day. You're not the all-knowing. Till then, learn from others. Be respectful of others. And know your fucking role, Jabroni. Know your fucking role. So last I'm going to say on this topic, unless someone asks me, unless I say more on the, you can bait me. I'm easily, I'm the master baiter. You can bait me easily into shit like this if you email me enough. And frankly, every other comment, I just start deleting them. Oh, what about vegan games? What about vegan games? There's my opinion on him. There is no opinion. Mike Rashid, subscribe to his channel. He's linked down below. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say I pray for you because then I'd get all the people who really don't like Christianity and Judaism and any kind of religion in here. I'm going to say vegan gains. I hope, I hope that you see the light and you start treating people with respect and stop just going to bait people into subscribing to your shitty little channel. I'm Mark Lobliner, tigerfitness.com. Cause addressing people who really aren't worth 11 minutes and 36 seconds of my time, but doing so just to stop people from asking me to address him. It's not a game.